Okay, here's a project I was assigned. They want a safety corridor sign. So what I did is I went to Google and I started looking at the safety corridor signs, um, trying to get some ideas. There's really nothing in the MUTCD for this. I kind of like this, the safety corridor right here uh, with the, um, you know, safety corridor with some verbiage in there. And then I liked up here, they had some logos in here and, you know, I didn't want just plain like this one right here. I just didn't want plain black and white. Um, the message boards we have up there that just, you can't leave them out there all the time. Um, so I came up with this safety corridor. It's got the CHP logo, the county logo. It says safety corridor, slow down. The life you save may be your own. We have this problem up in the Butts Canyon, uh, people speeding. So what I did is I designed it. I took a picture of it, snapshot, I guess, printed it out, went into the boss, got his okay. He said, run with it. So here's how we run with it. Okay, we send it over to the HP 365 printer and it's printing out everything. Uh, it, it prints out the logos, uh, the orange that I put in there. No more having to cut the uh, vinyl and make the orange, put the lettering in by hand and all that. Our printer just prints it out now. So after it's printed, what I have to do is I have to put a clear laminate over the top of it, which protects the ultraviolet light, the sun from fading it. So. I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll show you the next step. So while my printer is printing out these fans, it has four or eight of them and it's blowing out. You can see right here, uh, the current temperature is 225 degrees. So it's blowing out 225 degrees out of here. Obviously, you don't want to put your fingers in there. It's going to kind of hurt. What it's doing, the ink is being laid down. It's a water-based ink. And then a cure is coming through here. Then through here, it's perfectly dry. If I was to lift the lid and touch in there, it would smear because it's wet. And here's what it does to my thermometer. So right now inside my shop, it's about 75. When I first started here, it was just slightly over 70, maybe 71. So it's raised my temperature about 4 degrees in the shop. And it... Uh, it's nice here in the in the winter time. Well, you know, it's kind of winter. It's a little drizzly rainy out today, kind of cool. So it's nice in here. I can work in here in a t-shirt and stuff because this is just an old tin building um, built probably in the 50s, not very well insulated, but it does heat it up. And in the summertime, I've got an air conditioner up there that will uh, kind of keep the place cool for me. So double-edged sword with the printer. Great in the winter, not so great in the summer. Okay, here's my control panel on the HP 365. This is the image I'm gonna be painting, printing, excuse me. And here's the temperature. It's gotta get up to 225 degrees before it'll stop, start printing so it can cure the ink when it comes out. Um, there's my other sign that's in there. I, want, I need two of them, one for each section of the road. So it'll start to print here pretty soon. As soon as it gets up to its temperature, you can see it's starting to advance the um, substrate a little bit right now. And then the print heads will come along and they'll get all ready to roll here. And as you can see, it's starting to print out the image right there. Uh, whenever people come into my shop to visit while I'm printing, they, they find it fascinating and they're almost mesmerized by the uh, back and forth of the print head. I have to admit when I first started doing it, it was kind of neat and I didn't sit and watch it a little bit too much, but uh, now it's just kind of one of those things that happens. So there it is printing out the image and you can see the orange that it's printing. It makes several passes over it. It doesn't just lay down one, one pass at a time. And then you can start to see the logo right there start to come out, the CHP logo. The CHP, for anybody out of state, stands for California Highway Patrol. They're the ones that uh, were contracted to do all the safety uh, enforcement, you know, speed limits and all that, do accident reports on our county roads. 
our sheriffs don't do much of the uh, safety enforcement. It's pretty much up to the uh, high patrol, but our sheriffs are busy with lots of other important things. Okay, well, my sign's printing. I'll need to come out to my shop here and uh, get some sign blanks. I'm gonna be using this size today. These are 36 by 60, which would be three feet by five feet. Um, I've kind of reorganized everything. I have everything pretty much close now. There's my shop in there. Get my printer going there. And I have all my sign blanks, signs that are already made in here. And then right here, I have my container that I send back to Zap for uh, refurbishing. We refurbish all our old signs. Have my posts. I have some posts that are up top too. Uh, I don't, just don't have enough room to store them all in here. My 10 foot, 12 foot tell spars. My anchors over there. Um, some more sign blanks and various signs that I have to go. Backup generator, air compressor, my anchors, like I said. Uh, a little overflow here for different types of anchors and different stuff that I have. Um, try to keep everything organized now. At a place here, my sign truck parked here. It's raining today, so I'm not out working. I'm leaving at noon today anyways. But uh, in order to get ready, all I have to do now is just get my sign blanks out there. I'll dust them off and get, make sure all the dust and dirt's off of it. But I don't have to cover them anymore because it's printed directly onto the sign um, substrate. Okay, I went out to the shop and got two of my sign blanks that I'm going to need. These are 36 by 60, 3 foot by 5 foot. And whenever you handle, there's two of them here. Whenever you handle oversized blanks, or usually whenever I handle any blank, I always have a pair of these, like they're just like cotton gloves or whatever. Any kind of glove will work. Um, these edges can have burrs on them. And if, you look, if they slip out of your hand, they can really cut your hand. So be careful handling your metal. Always wear your PPE personal protective equipment. Okay, here's my safety corridor sign. Um, it's all printed on the, uh, with the HP 365, it's all printed on the uh, diamond grade material. Um, it's got kind of fun signs to make now because we can add in the logos. We got the Napa County logo here, the CHP, anybody who doesn't know. Like I said, it's a California Highway Patrol. They do our traffic enforcement here in the county. Uh, I do have to laminate it. I put a clear laminate over it so the sun doesn't fade this. Um, these signs are kind of fun to make, I think, because we don't have to follow the MUTCD. Okay, anybody who doesn't know what the MUTCD stands for, it's the Manual on Uniformed Traffic Control Devices. This sign, however, is not MUTCD compliant. Um, it's one of these signs that we can just make and um, as our needs fit. And if this is just a kind of like a informational sign, I guess you could say it's a safety corridor, slow down, the life you save may be your own. We've had so many crashes up in this area. Um, we've actually nicknamed it Dead Man's Turn because it's, I've put flashing lights, we've put chevrons, you know, slow to 25. If you drive this at the suggested speed of 25, you will never have any problems. It's when the people try to go 70, 75, and then try to sue the county because they crashed. It just doesn't work. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and laminate this. Okay, what I do is I put my laminate on a, this roller that I have. It's a little double roller. It came with the table. I'm not sure exactly where you got them. I'm sure a lot of uh, graphic supply places will have them. But it, it's pretty handy because then you can just roll out your laminate. This is referred to as a cold laminator. Uh, because we're not putting any um, heat on it or anything to, to um, or run it through a machine that's just done by hand. What I do is I put enough laminate over to cover the area that I'm going to be using. I'll put my laminate over the, the uh, material that I'm going to cover. Uh, make sure this 
and these are actually it's a 36 by 60 inch sign the material is 36 inches long but it's actually 36.375 so it's a little bit longer than 36 which is good so I just make sure that I'm lined up on one side and then my laminate is the same size because it's all made by 3M this is the best part here I think it's, it's so much easier now to uh, work with this table that we have and to put the laminate on this is always a little Keep your fingers off of the laminate so you don't put fingerprints in it. And then you want to make sure that your surface that you're going to do is clear of any unwanted foreign substance, otherwise it's going to be embedded in there for the life of the sign. And we'll just go ahead and tuck and roll. One side flip it over. That section that I tucked makes it nice just to peel up, grab, and peel back. And I'll check and make sure I have no foreign substance. My laminator this way now. My laminator, I should say. Okay. it installed on top now applied I should say and this sign will be good to go for probably 10 years before prepare my surface I'm going to spray a little bit of this rapid prep on here uh, it'll remove any grease dust that's been um, you know it could be dust on it from being stored out in my storage shed you can see it'll remove some of the dirt some of the grease so I'll get a good um, adhesion of my material that I'm going to lay over the top of it Okay, now that I have my um, sign, the substrate, the diamond grade, my printed material, I guess you call it, I'm gonna apply it to the sign blank that's underneath. I have it kind of lined up how I want it. It's simple. Where before, with the other uh, way I, I do the signs where you have to if you don't print it on the printer, you have to cover your material, then you have to put a transfer tape on it. This is pretty easy. It prints right on the uh, dark, on your material, whatever color you're using, the white, yellow, green, whatever. Well, I don't use the green, but mostly just a white or yellow material. This table now we can make signs that are four feet wide, probably nine feet long if we want. Uh, you can get larger tables, but it's our budget and the room that I have in the shop here. I'll turn some of this down. And we just do the little tuck and roll. the other side and I fold it under like that to give me a way to grab all the material out. Now basically all I have to do now is trim this out. Okay then all I have to do now is trim it. At least start your day off with a nice sharp blade. Believe it or not, uh, dull blades are worse because you have to add more pressure and more pressure you could slip and cut yourself so anyways I have this little basket down here that I catch the stuff in I'm gonna run my blade along here so there's basically what I end up with my waist which is pretty good I think Sometimes I'll have to go back around and clean up the corner a little bit. Well, there you have it. Nice and simple and easier to make now. My uh, safety corridor sign. 
slow down the life you save may be your own we got the county logo chp logo um no more of having to do the uh you know sheet it with the orange on top and then lay the borders around and put the lights or the lettering in and then have to put the uh logos on so now it's all done at one time so we'll see if this helps at all to slow people down like i said we've tried just about everything we can think of to try to slow people down and nothing seems to be working um you know it's not just this road but any road just slow down and enjoy life you know you're only given one so and don't ruin it on something stupid so to all the people that are uh don't need the advice i don't know what to tell you but another job done you know there was some concerns what can we do to slow people down who are we going to turn to that's right you're going to turn to the sign man as always thanks for watching